Jeremy as Cookier, and after obtaining a really cool set of Weos screwdrivers, I decided I needed a place to put them. So naturally, I, I turned to my 3D printer and printed one up. The design was designed in Fusion 360 and features magnets on the side so you can attach them to your milling machine if you have one. Good, good reason to get a milling machine, I suppose, but this went through several iterations. Um, you can see them here. And to see the process I went through, go ahead and check this video out. So first, of course, was, was modeling everything up in Fusion. Put a sh chamfer on the top there, followed by a radius or a fillet. Yeah, and did a little pattern on that for four of them. The, the idea was for, first was to put uh, Phillips and Flathead, one for each, each one, uh, sets of four, I guess. But eventually I decided to stretch it out to seven. But this first one, you know, it's a functional part as well. So I thought it'd be good to have the plus there for the Phillips and the negative for the Flathead. With that done, I laid out on Cura for my Monoprice Mini 3D printer, and it, it fit on there very nicely. Coming out from my crusty 3D printing knife, and a little little super glue or cyano acrylate glue held these these magnets down. Looks pretty good on my milling machine and my vise. Nice and nice and handy. But of course, as I said earlier, I wanted to make it so I could put all seven of my screwdrivers on there. So I laid that out again, expanded everything. In Fusion 360, put some more positive and negative symbols on it. And for this, it was big enough that I had to put it to 45 degrees to fit on there. Okay. But that worked out worked out fine. And there it goes. Fits in there. After that, I marked the plus and minus with that paint pen. Um, had a bit of a better solution for that later. And you can see there, it's kind of sliding up and down a little bit. Or it did slide up and down a little bit. So I made yet another another version of this, printing everything out there, and you know I, I expanded the side of it because it was too small, but it was a nice nice accident because it actually made it so everything would just snap right in the the magnets. I also used this this uh, marker instead of a paint pen, and that looks much much better. And on the back, I used some plastic dip so it wouldn't slide all around, and it looks pretty good. So after several revisions. I've got something I'm pretty pretty proud of, and it's been holding my screwdrivers for quite a while. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or even leave me a comment. Uh, the files for it will be on GitHub, and I'll put a link to it in the description. And thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook, signing off.